What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Spilling All Tea. Gonna talk about, uh, you know, excuse me, y'all, because y'all probably hear this back. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna talk about uh, Hollywood Divas today. Uh, of course, you guys already know. Got this. I probably should not have made this much, but it was so much shit going on. I think I might need it, okay? And uh, the drink of the week, as I have been saying, is uh, Cat Morgan and Cola. Yep, made that one strong. Whew. Okay, <clears throat> so picks up where it left off, so we all know that uh, <clears throat> at least has now joined the girls in uh, Jamaica, and you know. Uh, <clears throat> Golden decides that she just wants to confront her friend, and Elise stands by like, "Look, I pretty much told you, you know what the fuck happened." <clears throat> now, do I? Now, here's the thing: Do I feel there's some shady shit going on? I do, but <clears throat> I think the main point that um, Elise is trying to drive home is this: Paula and her people discussed this shit, then they came to me. <clears throat> So let's not worry about it coming to me, but why don't you talk to Paula and discuss what happened there between those two entities? Like that is her whole thing. <clears throat> because you know, but she never answered the question about cutting them out. But it's one of those where I can kiss, I can see what Elise is doing. I do believe <clears throat> that I don't necessarily think that she was trying to cut them out per se. But when it comes to business, you know, money talks, bullshit walks, and you know, business is business. And you know, sometimes business can, you know, ruin friendships. But the reality is this when you're doing business, you're going to take care of numero uno. Am I right? That's what I thought. <clears throat> and then it all shifts towards Paula. So then she starts to backpedal. <clears throat> you know, the waterworks start coming. <clears throat> and Elise said, you know, she called, like, yes, yeah, she did, you know, talk to the network. But it wasn't about the white sisters, but it was about more or less her own, I guess, personal endeavors or whatever. So, <clears throat> see what else. And, you know, Paula is doing the whole woe is me. <clears throat> My whole thing is this. Again, Paula, you can't bring the bullshit and then get mad when the bullshit comes back at you. She's an interesting character, y'all. So fucking interesting. <sighs> what else I got? <clears throat> And Elise says when she does business, it's never personal. And, you know, for no one to take it personal. And so that right there further leads me to believe that, yeah, she has something to do with it. But again, I I understand what she's saying is, you know, if y'all want to try to get to the center of the bullshit, y'all need to holler at Paula first. But at the same exact time, nobody is, you know, talking rationally. And everybody's in their feelings, which again, it's about, it's about them coins. So I somewhat understand. As I told y'all in the last uh, review, I would have just gotten lawyers involved and I would have left it right there <clears throat> instead of getting up, putting all this energy into something that can really, you know, blow up the short friendships, this, that, and the third. But then it wouldn't have, you know, drama, you feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> and Golden has the nerve to tell Paula for lack of better phrasing. You know, she need to check her feelings at the door, but are you not the same one that is in your feelings right now? Yeah, she is. <laughs> and <clears throat> Elise says, you know, they just need to go ahead and draw contracts. My question is this. Why the fuck wasn't that not done in the first place? So for all of them to have been in the game as long as they have, they are definitely not acting like it. But I will say, <clears throat> I think that Elise knows what she's doing. And again, she's just taking care of, you know, numero uno. So again, it's one of those where she's shady as shit, but I can't be too mad at her. Real talk. <clears throat> so we see Countess one time, you know, <clears throat> she's uh, role, role playing with a boyfriend. He's the sneaky deacon. And she's the first lady. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that where it's at. But what I did find to be beautiful is that, you know, he pretty much was saying to her, mm, regardless of, you know, your weight, because they were on the surgery, his whole thing is she, he's going to love her regardless. 
and I think that's beautiful. Now he might just love because she, you know, she constantly coming home with a check. I don't know, but he loves her regardless. <clears throat> and again, if y'all, and here's one thing that I will say, and this is in a good way, so I don't want nobody to shade the motherfucker. I think Countess might be the Nene of this show. <clears throat> and what I mean is, if you look at it, for like the last couple of seasons, Nene really did not have many scenes. But she did her little pop ons, the little intros, but she was kind of, you know, absent of a lot of the drama. But I mean, here's the reality of all the girls who don't need this show it is her. So in that aspect, now outside of that, I would never compare my girl Countess to Nene. For y'all Nene stands, hey, it is what the fuck it is. I say what the fuck I said. Y'all gonna dislike the video, click off it right now. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Moving on. Elise goes to get, I'm sorry, Golden goes to get closure from Elise. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, she said, you know, she was not trying to get emotional but she almost did like Paula did whatever don't care and I think that Elise was unbothered completely by that but it was hurting her that of all the ladies she thought that the person she was closest to that would not judge her or her character or her name would have been golden we'll see <clears throat> So just to throw this out there, you know, a male singer was, uh, you know, getting ready to sing and <clears throat> saw Lee's. Apparently he had the hots for, her, you know, so he goes and serenades and he tries to lay, his, he lays his game down heavy and whatnot. But, you know, she's turning him down and even Lisa, you know, kind of swoops in, you know, try to do the save and shit. So that was that. <clears throat> now, Golden and Lisa in the pool and you have Char and, um, Elise, you know, just kind of chilling, and they're rehashing the um, <clears throat> first workshop and even talking about the new workshop. And we all see that Golden is being real, real nasty, real shady, real petty <clears throat> because she's gonna be real. Well, she can foresee by how she's explaining it to Lisa, she's about to be real messy with her delivery in terms of how she's going to put on this workshop now what I will say is this <clears throat> Golden is already struggling okay and with her doing shit like this and again it's televised this can hurt her career just gonna put that out there <clears throat> so Golden starts the workshop by pulling out the flyer that she did and right there we already know who that shade and she was trust when I say she was throwing all fucking shade she called herself a thespian Then Golden says that, you know, for at least talent has no age. I'm just sitting back just like, so she didn't shade a char. She just fucking shaded, um, <clears throat> at least. I forgot what she said about Lisa Wu and, uh, <clears throat> uh, Paula, <clears throat> but then she heard her. Like she goes in this time on Shar saying, you know, you know, she has gone from nothing to something and has found a way to stay relevant in this business. And I'm just like, ooh, <clears throat> the shade. But see, here's the funny thing. You're talking about she has found a way to stay relevant. Oh, wow. It's something you could not fucking do regardless of how she had to do it <clears throat> again she's another somebody that does not need this fucking platform you know real talk i mean like i said she gets her you know um uh, her her checks not to mention yes yeah, she's married to motherfucking kevin motherfucking federline who has his children last time i checked and is getting child support from the britney spears which means that char is getting a nice hefty fucking check so she really don't need this show so somebody is hating y'all hating and even when she came for elise you know uh talent has no age are you upset that you know even though i don't know what the fuck is up with elise her wig choices but at her age she still looks better than her mm. Mm. trust me when i say she's fucking insecure as shit what else we got <clears throat> Now, one girl got up. I'm just going to put this out there. I don't know if y'all caught it, but the way she talked and the way she looked, it reminded me a little bit of KD from Love and Hip Hop. Did y'all catch that? Or maybe I'm just seeing shit. I'm just going to throw it out there. 
But <clears throat> here's where the shit really uh, picks up at. So one uh, lady asked uh, Elise, after hearing all the other girls talk, you know, does she, does she feel differently about not having children? Now, of course, I did not go back, as you know, um, did not DVR, I just watched it. Um, <clears throat> Elise uh, pretty much says that if it was up to her, she would have done it the traditional way. And, you know, does not want a child without a husband. Now, I don't recall her saying do it the right way, but she said she would have done it the traditional way, not wanting the child without the husband. <clears throat> now, Golden took offense to that. Get further into that in a little bit. <clears throat> they go to a drum circle. Golden embodies it. You know, she fought. So, I would assume for all of what? Uh, five minutes, she actually became black. Even though her skin is telling me something different, but okay, I'll give her that. <clears throat> at a, at the uh, gift store, Elise pulls uh, Paula off to the side, and <clears throat> you know the remaining girls talked about Elise's comment and how they felt about it. So they pretty much felt that <clears throat> Elise was throwing a jab at all of the other girls, or they just did not like the presentation. But here's the reality: <clears throat> the question was asked to. <clears throat> At least, you know, pretty much her feelings of how she did things. And all she was saying is she would have done things the traditional way. She does not want the child without, <clears throat> you know, the husband. I understand that. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, I mean, for those of y'all who do be on the channel, like I said, I've said it in a few videos. I'm not sitting here, you know, boasting about it because it's not one of those things where, you know, I'm trying, I won't, you know, simply or whatever. <clears throat> but I've been fucking celibate for 14 years. Okay, the whole reason for it is <clears throat> I want to do things the traditional way. You know, real talk, I want, like I said, no no shade on nobody. I just don't want a baby mama, nor do I want to potentially deal with the baby mama issues. Now, if we look at Lisa Wu's situation, she did things the traditional way. Now she is divorced. <clears throat> so that thing did play out. So it's not to say that I get married, I have children, and then me and my wife divorce, and now I still have to somewhat deal with the baby mama thing. But for me, <clears throat> I would like to go about doing things in a traditional way, because that will work best for me. Again, however the fuck other people want to do what they do, that's on them, because here's the thing, you live your life, I live mine. So I understood what Elise was saying. But it was one of those where I don't know if <clears throat> Golden was reaching because she needs something to stay relevant on this show. Because again, with the shade she threw at fucking Char, she has no relevancy at fucking all. <sighs> I swear I do not like Golden. I don't. <clears throat> I'm trying not to get all riled up on this motherfucking video. Let me drink some more. Yeah, I just took, uh, yeah, that happened. <clears throat> took quite a bit. Mm hmm. Don't judge me. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, you know, Golden kept saying, you know, she didn't like how she was saying, you know, the right way that she did it the right way. Because her thing with her saying the right way, it implies that I did things the wrong way. So, again, you guys, if y'all heard her say the right way, please let me know. I don't recall. I truly don't. I would have stayed and watched it a second time. But I want to try to get this video to y'all as quickly and swiftly as I possibly could. <clears throat> Well, let's see but see golden's whole thing is you know she was saying that with her saying that she wants at least to just say you know what she just didn't get lucky and she just did not have a child you know just like be honest with every fucking body else and i'm just here just like well damn for this to sit here and be your quote unquote girlfriend you damn show sure going to everybody else and literally selling her ass up the fucking river <sighs> okay <clears throat> and before i make my last comment before i get into the dinner <clears throat> Elise was um, pretty much talking to Paula just like, you know, she wants that old relation they used to have, you know, being girlfriends, this, that, and third. And of course, Paula don't know what it is to be that because she's been married the whole time, so they're trying to work that out. Now, <clears throat> they never, I should have just made my comment because I totally forgot what the fuck I was going to say. <sighs> fuck, I, hate, I swear I hate when I do that because I don't like doing the whole tangent thing sometimes because I always... 
can't win for losing. I really can't. But fuck, I think I've said enough about you know, go and bleach blotch your ass. But whatever. <clears throat> so they're at dinner. This is their you know last night in Jamaica. <clears throat> I'm not gonna talk about all the other shit they said. But Golda's whole thing is, you know, I want to talk about this so we can get it out and we can leave this shit here in Jamaica. Bitch, this is not Vegas. Alright. <clears throat> and the shit's televised any fucking way. So it's really not going to stay there. Especially when y'all go to the reunion. It's not going to stay there. But <clears throat> Golden, in my opinion, decided to come for release. You know, and Golden said, you know, that she's doing this for all the mothers. Last time I checked, I do not think that you were the fucking spokesperson. Okay, I don't think you're mother of the year, but okay, okay. all right. <clears throat> and you know, uh, Golden said, well, I'm sorry, Elise states pretty much what I've already said. <clears throat> she was asked about her life, and she stands for her and what it was that she said. Now, it's not that they asked her how does she feel about, you know, baby mamas, and you know, how most like it wasn't that. It was just how do you feel, like, do you regret the decisions that you made you know <clears throat> point blank in a period and golden says that as a woman it is our duty to acknowledge all women so what she said to her is it is your responsibility to own up to what you said and it's one of those where it's just like <clears throat> i personally don't agree with that fucking statement because i don't think that there was any you know ill intent she wasn't being malicious or anything like that she was on she was answering an honest question now maybe just maybe you know my shade radar went off for this portion because you know i mean i know we don't stick up for at least all that much but i'm sticking up for her now and this is just my opinion like i think that <clears throat> i really do think that golden is reaching is reaching and i will come back to this <laughs> Hopefully. If I don't forget. <laughs> but, um, you know, Golden tells her. Now, here's the shit that got me. Actually, I'm going to say this <laughs> before I talk about this. Golden, I personally believe on purpose. <clears throat> just really just wanted to fuck with Elise. I really think that's what it was. Because, you know. The whole transference of energy. You, if y'all have ever watched to play the game, I love that fucking movie. But it's so true to where you can take the emotion that you have, throw it on somebody else. They take that emotion. So if it's anger, you can sit here and use your anger to make somebody else angry, which can therefore make you happy because now somebody else is steaming. And I think she purposely was fucking trying to do that with Elise. And I will prove why I say that. You know, but she took a jab talking about, so why don't you just live your truth and just say that you don't have a child because it didn't work. And it was at this point that at least went on the defense, which I'm not mad about. And she pretty much said, look, this is what the fuck it is, you know, because it's one of those where she was telling her mother, telling her truth. This is her truth. I was on a hit fucking show. I would assume the Hughleys. No shade. I would assume. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, sit here and do background checks and shit. I'ma leave that shit right there up to fucking, you know, Quad and uh, Lisa Nicole. I'ma leave that to them. I ain't, I ain't background checking no motherfucking body. It ain't that damn serious for this anyway. <clears throat> but she was saying, that's what it was. Now, she grew up Southern, where, you know, it was certain things that, you know, you did that were certain ways that you went about doing shit. That is how, how she grew up. That's what she knows. When she was with her fiance, because she was on this his show, <clears throat> she did not want to lose her job. So even though they were engaged, they were still wearing condoms, or more or less he was. Because again, don't want to lose her job. And if y'all kind of looking like, what? You guys think about the Braxton, think about Tracy. <clears throat> Where when she was pregnant, they gave her the ultimatum. Either lose the baby, stay in the group, or have the child and not be in the group. And it's one of those things, and I believe that even happened with Countess, if I'm not uh, mistaken, <clears throat> where it's just like, you know, either you, and I think her, in her situation, hers played out the way that she wanted to, she still kept her job, <clears throat> but it was one of those where it's just like, look, if you pregnant, you're not going to stay on this show. It is what it is. So for her, it was just like, you know what? And she, instead of allowing herself to get to that point, you know, protect the sex. So she was like, that is what she did, and she did not want the child 
before having the husband. That is what she wanted. That's how, <clears throat> you know, she grew up. You know what I'm saying? And Golden throws shade in the confessional, being a confessional game, talking about some, oh, you know, that was 40 years ago. And again, regardless of what age shade you are trying to throw, at least, she, again, uh, her, her wig choice is not, is not great. But <clears throat> she is very fucking beautiful. Very gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? I don't recall her sitting here trying to bleach her skin to look any less than what she looks. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, <clears throat> I think she's hating on that. So while you sitting here trying to throw it out, better yet, when you get, when she, I need to look up their age because I'm going to need to see, I need to figure out how old Golden is because if Golden is anywhere close to Elise's age, I might have to sit here and I might have to go off on a rat at the very end of the next damn review that I do for this shit. <clears throat> And Paul is successful, at least, that, you know, she is a Southern girl. She grew up this way. And it was one of those, like, why are you attacking her? And <clears throat> Golden was so slick with the shit. After she didn't got at least all riled up and worked up, she shut it down. She's like, okay, well, you know, we could just sit here and just da 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 And I'm just like, see, you one of them bitches. You, and my whole thing is this. Real motherfucking talk. Because I'm one of those where I would cut a motherfucker off real quick. I would cut family off without hesitation. And if y'all sitting here thinking I'm playing, if anybody is watching that know my family or that know me personally, yeah, I cut a motherfucker off real quick. Because if I cut my family off, you know, without missing a beat, damn it, I cut a regular ass mofo off right quick. And won't feel no different. <clears throat> I would have cut, like I said, I hope. Uh, at least cuts golden off of that shit because you can see purposely got her riled up and once she got up to the point where it's just like uh she shut it down it's like yeah we're not gonna talk about it no more and smooth just went to the next thing so <clears throat> there is a good chance y'all that i'm probably <clears throat> Gonna have to treat Golden like I did Miss Stacy Francis with R&B Divas. I might just have to dedicate one fucking video to literally just a letter or a message to Golden <clears throat> and give her ass the business. And for those of y'all who don't know, I don't know the exact number. Let's just say that message to Stacy Francis had quite a bit of fucking views on that bitch. But I think we all was in agreement. Fuck that hoe. So, you guys, that's all that I have for uh, Hollywood Divas. It was one of those where even though this took a lot out of me, and right now I'm sitting at over 22, uh, 22 uh, minutes and a half, I was here for it. It was good. There was a lot of shade. That was, I mean, it was a lot of good shit. I was so fucking here for it. I just, at this point, don't fucking like Golden. I wasn't the biggest fan of Elise, even though I think she is fine as shit. She didn't gain weight since the last season. But she is fine as shit. She started to be a little thickums. But I never liked Golden. And Golden is not winning me over at all. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you have not. Please share this video where you like to share videos. Um, if you guys would like to link with me socially, all of my social media information is in the description box down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So until the next time, I love all of you. Be easy, stay safe. Peace.